What's up guys? There's been a lot of talk um, in the YouTube boxing um, community about um, like the Canelo Alvarez versus Mayweather fight and what weight should this fight take place in? I mean, should it be at 147 pounds or should it be at 154 pounds? Should there be a catch weight? Now here's my personal opinion on the whole issue with catch weights and fighting in certain weight divisions. Um, the way I see it, if you're going to have a fight, I'm going to use the welterweight division as an example. If you're going to fight for a title at welterweight, both fighters should be within the welterweight limit, which means that they have to be at least 141 pounds. Well, you have to be between 141 pounds and 147 pounds, because that's the um, that's the welterweight uh, weight range, basically. So, like, remember when Pacquiao fought Miguel Cotto, and it was at a catch weight? I think it was 144 pounds. Now, honestly, I think Pacquiao shouldn't have did that. I think that. As long as both fighters came in within the weight range, that it shouldn't have been no issue. If you know, if Cotto wanted to come in at 147 pounds, that should have been just fine. And you know, if Pacquiao wanted to come in a little bit lighter, that's on him. You know, that should have been just fine too. But it didn't. To me, it didn't really seem fair for Miguel Cotto to have to come down a little bit in weight. And to tell you the truth, three pounds really wouldn't have made much of a difference. I think Pacquiao still would have beat Cotto just as easily as he actually did um, if he wouldn't have forced Cotto to come down. I think Pacquiao still would have won the fight. And uh, let's use um, just like when Marquez fought Mayweather. Um, that was a catchway fight. But I can't remember... I think that fight was also at 144 pounds. That's what they agreed to uh, to come in um, at the weigh-in at. But Mayweather was two pounds over, so he ended up paying a penalty for that. Now, it was a welterweight fight, so like I said, there shouldn't have been no catch weight. You know, if Marquez wanted to come in at 141 pounds, that, that's fine. If Mayweather wanted to come in at 147, that should have been just fine. Shouldn't have been no catch weight. Basically, what I'm saying is that, well, okay, there's maybe one situation where I would accept a catch weight, and that's if make the smaller fighter come up a little bit, make the bigger fighter come down a little bit, so have both guys kind of just meet towards the middle, because it doesn't seem fair to force one fighter to have to come down or force one fighter to have to come way up you know cuz that's not really um that's not fair i mean cuz to me if i was a fighter i don't want no unfair advantages now that's just me now i know they got some people that, that have no problem having unfair advantages but personally i want to fight a fighter at his best i don't cuz to me if you force a fighter to come up or you force a fighter to come down, if you beat them, it's not like a real win because you basically had the advantage from the start. And it's it's the kind of win that I wouldn't brag about. So that's the only way I would accept the catch weight is if the smaller fighter comes up a little bit, the bigger fighter comes down a little bit. But honestly, I really don't even want catch weights at all. If I had it my way, I wouldn't even there wouldn't be no catch weights. But um just like this issue with Canelo Alvarez and Floyd Mayweather. Personally, I want Mayweather to fight Canelo at 154 pounds. Now, if Mayweather wants to come in a little bit light, like at 150 pounds, like he did against De La Hoya and Cotto, then that's just fine because he's within the weight range as long as he's over 147, I mean, he's got to be at least 148 pounds. 
Got to be between 148 and 154 for it to be a junior middleweight fight. So if Mayweather wants to come in and fight Canelo at 148, 149, 150 pounds, that's just fine. If Canelo wants to come in at the weight limit of 154, that should be just fine. So I really don't see what the issue is. Because um, if Mayweather f forces Canelo to come down to 147, that's going to make Mayweather look bad. Because Mayweather has said in the past that he wants to fight fighters at their best. That he doesn't believe in draining a fighter to get an unfair advantage. He, he, he has said this before. So if Mayweather decides to force Canelo down to 147 then he's just making himself look real bad. Making himself look like a hypocrite, basically. So, um, well, we're going to see what happens with this Canelo versus uh, Mayweather fight. Um, I mean, there's just been rumors right now that Mayweather wants Canelo to come down to 147. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. But basically, that's, that's all I had to say about this issue about catch weights and weight classes. So, um, tell me what you guys think.